Which side do you like? Would you wear either? Neither? Either, neither? I don't love how yellow the white background makes my hair look. I'll be honest. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a full face of, we're using all drugstore makeup, but uh, someone suggested this in one of my recent videos. They were like, it would be cool to see you use all the same products, but do one half of your face like natural and the other half glam. So that's what we're gonna do. But I wanted to make a drugstore. So yeah, everything is gonna be drugstore and we're using all the same products. Did I say that? I don't know, I'm out of it. I think I'm gonna do this side of my face glam and this side natural. So I'm gonna start off with my LA Girl Pro Conceal. Uh, this is what I use as a color corrector. This is in the shade Light Ivory, but they have actual color correcting shades. I forgot which side I was doing. So the <laughs> glam, right? Natural, yeah. Oh, I just prepped my skin with my Aven sunscreen. That's all I'm wearing. Probably a little bit more on this side. And I'm just gonna blend that with a brush to begin with. This is obviously color correcting, moving, a, moving, removing a little bit of darkness so that when I don't wanna put my concealer down, it doesn't look gray. I have this really shitty light over here that's like doing all the work right now for the background but it's very loud and I'm not a fan. I need new lights. All right, for foundation, I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow foundation. This is in the shade Alabaster. So I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna start off with the uh, natural side. So I'm gonna use um, a damp sponge, picking it up and then kind of like working it into my hand so I'm not picking up way too much product. And then I'm just going to use this for like a little bit of color correction, basically. You guys know the drill. So any little imperfections, I'm just gonna, or imperfections, freckles, whether it's like a, a red spot, blemish, whatever the fuck you wanna call it, uh, I'm just gonna let it kind of poke through. So I'm just using this to do like a very basic, cohesive color throughout the face. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so for the glam side, I'm gonna pick up, I mean, I'm obviously picking up more product, but I'm just gonna focus on doing a little bit more perfecting, covering up a little bit more redness and not necessarily concealing, you know, things like freckles. I don't really care if those show through, but I'm just gonna be using a little bit more product. So we're just gonna build up the coverage a little bit more. So I went in with that first pass. Now I'm gonna pick up a little bit more for my forehead. And then just going in with like a little bit more in any areas that I need like a little more coverage. This was such a good idea, whoever suggested this, by the way, I appreciate you. Uh, all right, next up for concealer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Warm. So for the natural side, I'm basically just gonna place it underneath my eyes. Um, so just like right here and right here, and then mm, a little bit right there. And then for my glam side, uh, I'm gonna put a little in here, obviously applying a little bit more around my nose, right in there. This does not smell good. A little more highlighting and lifting there, and then obviously a little more concealing in that area. And let's do a little bit right there. I'm gonna use my, uh, actually on the natural side, I'm gonna use a brush, that same brush that I applied my uh, color corrector with. Typically for natural, very natural makeup. I kind of avoid this area of my nose um, because when I'm doing this kind of thing, it's usually like daytime, I'm running errands, I'm wearing sunglasses, and uh, I don't care what anyone says to you. If they say like transfer proof, proof makeup on your nose for sunglass, bullshit. Bullshit, there's nothing you can do. It's gonna, it's gonna remove your makeup. So just using like a light hand, kind of like feathering it into the rest of my face. And then for the other side, I'm gonna use a damp sponge. I'm gonna start off on the areas where I just like don't need as much coverage. So I typically go around the face first, being a little bit more intentional with where I keep it. And I prefer a sponge, especially for a damp beauty sponge, for a, like more glam or if you're using a sl like slightly more product because I just think that extra hydration helps, you know? Concealing underneath the eye, focusing all of that coverage wherever I have darkness. 
trying to make the under eye and the cheek look a little bit more flush. And then obviously brightening in here. And then I'm taking whatever is left over kind of like along the side of my nose, just to slim it a little bit more. You know how I like to do. But if you don't, now you do. I'm gonna use my NYX Wonder Stick for contour. I'm gonna be using the Fair Contour Stick. For my natural side, I'm just gonna do a little bit right there and a little bit right there. And then I do like to do that. So just less, basically. Um, for my glam side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hung van go this bullshit up. <laughs> this is gonna be so funny. So obviously just using, like, you can essentially see that the placement is basically the same. It's just like lighter. My blending is a little less like precise. I'm kind of relying a little bit more on um, the blending, creating like, just kind of like a little bit more of a hint or a hue with certain shades. And on the more natural side, you can see I'm doing a lot more of like this kind of motion, like buffing, because I'm not really worried about removing coverage because that's not the point. I'm trying to make this look natural. So like I said, anything that shows through, you know, we didn't really use much foundation anyway. For the dramatic side, I mean, it's the same fucking thing, man. We're just blending. <laughs> I'm trying to keep things a little bit more where they are. Obviously I want it to be blended, but I'm gonna go back and forth with my brush and my sponge so that everything, you know, we don't have any harsh lines. But I'm basically using the side to, especially for the contour, to really, really refine my features. And a little bit more of this stamping motion, which is uh, gonna help blend without removing coverage. Sometimes blending just like, you know, I need to stretch before this shit. I keep almost forgetting that I'm doing like two completely different sides of my face. So this side is obviously like, like I said, there's more back and forth. So I'm going in with my sponge, I mean my brush, and I'm doing like a general blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with my sponge to make sure that it is fully blended. For my nose, I'm using that little whatever Revlon, this is like a little Revlon shader brush, same contour. Um, and I am gonna do the same, like I'm gonna do all the stuff on either side. So for the natural side, I'm doing just a really light contour on the lips. I really love to include glam tricks, makeup tricks to everyday makeup. I just do less. I don't know if this is gonna look that different. Maybe the nose. <laughs> I don't know. This is hard, this, this one's hard to do side by side. Yeah, for the glam side, I'm gonna use a little bit of the e.l.f. putty bronzer. I think this is the lightest one. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'm gonna use that putty brush and I'm just gonna add like teeny bit more warmth. I don't even know if it'll make that much of a difference. Yeah, typically I would do this with um, a powder. So I don't know, whatever. For my blush, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. putty blush in what a whatever color this is, this one. I don't know, it's pink. I'll, uh, it'll be linked. I'm using the, my Refer 04 brush. I mean, I think blush is just great, even on really, really natural days, but I'm just gonna do a little less. And I'm gonna focus it a little bit more like on the apple of my cheek. And then for the glam side, and I'm gonna start it up a little bit higher on the cheek, focusing it a little bit more in like this section. So the pigment here, and then just kind of like diffusing, oh, what the fuck? Diffusing it up to the top of the cheekbone and then onto the apple of the cheek a little bit. Fuck it, a little bit up to the temple, put it everywhere. I'm going in with Urban Decay primer, eye primer really quick before I use any powder because um, I ordered a drugstore eye primer from Ulta, but it hasn't come yet, so. Um, I'm sorry, my skin looks fucking great right now. I love that foundation. I don't know why I don't use it more. It's so beautiful. 
Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more blush just because I want it. I feel like I can't really see it as much over here. It's like a little more bronzy. All right, I'm gonna cheat a little bit with powder, don't hate me, because I also tried um, to pick up a lighter setting powder because all I have is the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna use this to set a little bit of my face, um, but for my under eyes, I'm gonna use my Elsie powder. Got to make sure you're blended. And obviously for the natural side, I'm gonna use like the smallest amount because I really just don't need a ton of powder. A little bit around the nose, right there. And that's all I'm gonna do. I'm using a little bit more for the glam side. Really wanna make sure that I'm setting everything under here. I'm gonna go in here, down the side of the nose, around my nostril, right here, all those places that I brightened. Um, and then for the glam side, I'm gonna go in with just a light dusting of the Maybelline Fit Me 01 powder. All right, I'm gonna set both of my eyebrows with my Dr. Bronner soap to begin with. It's my batteries, as always. So for the natural side, I'm going to, I mean, that's essentially gonna be the same thing, I guess, I don't know. Let's see, let's see if I do the glam side any different. Kinda sorta, I don't know. <laughs> they don't look that different to me. This one's a little more like pew, but they're also very different eyebrows. So like, what are you gonna do? Once that's dry, I'm gonna go in with uh, the Ardell Stroke a Brow Feathering Pen. Pen. Uh, this is in the shade Hope. I really like this. It's a nice color. For the natural side, I'm just going to fill in some of the sparse areas with like literally the lightest hand. I'm gonna focus it in the tail of the brow because that's where they tend to be the most sparse. And I'm not gonna really worry about manipulate, man oh my God, <laughs> manipulating the shape at all. For the other side, once again, starting with the tail, I'm kind of, for, so for this one, I was kind of doing this. It really depends on how you hold your brush. This is a brush, right? Your pen. Um, doing this is you're gonna get really, really tiny, precise and um, not so pigmented strokes. I'm angling them a little bit more over here, starting on the tail so that I can build up the most product there. And then I'm gonna extend a little. This brow pen is um, kind of dying on me. So just for the glam brow, I'm gonna use my um, NYX uh, brow tint pen in um, ash brown. So we're primed for my eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be using this one um, from LA Girl. This is the nudist eyeshadow palette. Very pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna start off with this shade for the natural side. This is my uh, Ruffer 27 brush. So as al always, dipping in and really, really tapping off so that I get like a nice diffused application. And I'm just gonna start off in the crease, bring it in a little bit, and then just buff it up to my brow, I'm kind of connecting it with a little bit of that um, contour that I put up here. Let's go one at a time here. So on the lid, I'm gonna grab this kind of like, sort of nude shade, it's kind of like a nude peach. Uh, this is my Sigma E54, and I'm just gonna pat this all over the lid. And then I'm just gonna slowly kind of like buff that up to the crease. And then for my lash line, I'm going to use this is my uh, Revlon Colorstay Micro Hyper, I don't know why I can't say PR right now, Precision Gel Eyeliner in the shade brown. Just for a little definition, and I'm gonna focus it on the, um, fuck. Like just on the outer perimeter of the eye, just to like kind of define those lashes a little bit. The outer perimeter, what? The outer like half. Um, and then I'm just gonna dot it here. And then using a little, uh, my Refer 03 brush, I'm just gonna buff that. So we're just adding like a little bit of definition to the lashes. It's gonna look like a little bit of a extension, soft extension, soft wing. Um, but you're, I wanna blend it as like as much as possible so that you don't even really see it. You know, just like a little something. And then for the other side, I'm gonna start off with that liner doing basically the same thing. But I'm gonna tight line my whole lash line. Oh, hate contacts so much. It's 
It's not really tight lining. I'm kind of just going into like my upper waterline. Then, <laughs> I'm gonna line my whole eye. We're gonna do some Hung Van Gogh shit over here. I really learned a lot from following his video. I kind of want to do um, a Painted by Spencer one next. Let me know if you want to see that. <laughs> reckless, reckless. I'm gonna use that same brush, rougher, 03. Slowly building that into a, a wing and then blending it up, whatever's left over basically, into the crease. And then I'm gonna take that on the outer corner. Oh, why do I always break this? Outer corner of my lower lash line, all through my waterline. <laughs> Can you tell that I like had nothing planned for this? I'm just like, going with it as I go. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna extend this lash line a little bit. I mean the inner corner. Basically just like building up that definition. Refer 03 brush. I'm gonna go in and buff on the lower lash line. This liner actually gives you like quite a big big quite a bit of wiggle room. So like you have some blending time which is nice. It doesn't like it sets but it doesn't set right away. Back and forth I'm gonna use my Refero 2 brush. I'm gonna pick up that same brown we used. I'm just gonna buff it all underneath my lower lash line, keeping it really, really light. Connecting it up just to like a little bit. Just wanna like add a little bit of definition to the lower lash line so you can see, you know. Now, uh, using my Refero 14 brush, I'm gonna grab that brown and I'm gonna start building on top of that eyeliner. Kind of the same idea, working it into like the temple definition, but obviously super dramatic. And I'm just gonna run that underneath my lower lash line on top of that liner just to kind of like soften it and set it. It's gonna be a long tutorial, bro. I'm running a little bit of whatever is left over on that brush just in this like kind of naked area underneath my eyebrow because I think it makes things look a little bit more like sultry and also finished. Like, doesn't that look a little unfinished right there? Whatever. Uh, all right, and then for the lid on this side, I'm going to mix this matte white. I guess it's more of a cream. I think you can't really tell uh, with the peach. Well, on that same um, Sigma E54. I'm gonna basically just like set anywhere that we didn't put the other shade. So starting it here, and then I'm just gonna gently buff it into whatever, all those other shades. I mean, you can see what I'm doing, you know what I mean? I don't know why I explain every little thing. Uh, all right, let's use highlighter before we go in with mascara and all that stuff. I'm gonna use my favorite Revlon Skin Lights in the shade Daybreak, Daybreak Glimmer, the new Samantha Sigma brushes. Dude, this, I don't think I've ever liked a fan brush. It's legit. Anyway, so I'm gonna use. So for this side, I'm just gonna dust it on the tops of my cheekbones, on my brow bone, up to my temple. And then for this side, I'm gonna build it up a little bit more. So I'm picking up a little bit more product, dusting it all over the cheeks to start. Up on the temple, I'm gonna do a second pass. I'm also gonna put a little bit in here on my chin, right there. And then for my inner corner, I'm using my Refer 26 brush. I'm just kind of like buffing it into this whole inner corner to open up this whole area. And I'm using like a very light amount. For this side, I'm gonna go right above that extension. I'm gonna blend it a little bit onto the lid, into that like matte. And then I'm using that same brush to do my brow bone. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then I'm gonna go in with the Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara by CoverGirl. So for the natural side, I am, this is like a thick ass mascara. For the natural side, I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit on a paper towel, just kind of like pat it so there's not as much product. And I'm just gonna um, do a light coat. This is a very black, intense mascara. <laughs> and I'm gonna focus it on the outer um, corner. I mean, I'm putting it basically everywhere, but like I'm kind of angled, angling them this way. And for the, lower lash line, I'm just gonna keep it kind of like right here. 
I just prefer that for like a more natural look. <laughs> it's so funny how like um, closed this eye looks compared to this side, you know? <laughs> and for this side, I'm not wiping anything off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build that shit up. I wish you would um, stay focused on my face. That'd be really cool. I gotta say, this is probably, ah! Except I always get it on my lids. This is such a thick wand. I, I do, I really like this formula though. I wish they had this formula with a more precise wand. Cover girl, is this cover girl? Yeah, fuck. Um, and same thing for my lower lash line. I'm not trying to be, I mean, I'm being light-handed obviously, but like covering everything. I want them to make a statement. Um, for my lips, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Gone Grage. And for the natural side, I'm not sharpening. And I'm just gonna do a little bit outside my lip line. And then I'm gonna take a little um, brush. This is the Ruffer 28 brush, and I'm going to just kind of like soften that into the rest of my lip. And then apply um, some lip balm with SPF from Aquaphor. And then for the glam side, um, it has a little sharpener in the butt. I'm gonna sharpen it. And I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna keep it more defined. Doing a little more contouring. So I'm just kind of fading that in a little. And then I'm gonna go in with um, the one thing that I'm not using on this side, which is Revlon Untold Stories. I'm just gonna blend that into the cool toned lip liner. Uh, all right guys, here it is up close and personal. Drugstore, using all the same products. Here's the natural side. What can I do? I need like a, here. So we've got, you know, natural, right? Like a little bit of definition to the face, a little bit of color, some nice like glow, hydrated lips and all that. Defined, like everything's defined without it looking like too much. And for the glam side, it's glam. <laughs> we have like a contoured lip, contoured eye, contoured face. Uh, everything's a little bit more like refined, a little bit more angled, a little bit more like bitchy. You know what I mean? It's funny. I like seeing these things side by side. I know side by sides um, are really helpful for you guys. So if you enjoyed this, obviously let me know and uh, I can definitely do more of them. Um, I can do like, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is. I can do anything. Uh, so just let me know. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. That wasn't a sentence. That wasn't English. Let me know what you want to see next. <sighs> I need to like wake up. I don't know. I'm filming earlier than usual and I'm, maybe I'm off my game. I'll see you soon.